Good morning, guys. Welcome to my one day 115 of me creating good daily habits. One of them is putting some exercise in the morning, the other is putting 30 minutes of reading. This week, I didn't manage to do any reading because I did not get my book. I failed in the essence as that I didn't order enough books to read rather right? the one that interests me anyway so i gotta make sure that i continue to buy a few new books along the way while i'm reading the current one it's called the 80 20 rule i got into it yesterday i spent at least a few hours to make up for the last week so i'm really i'm nearly through with that already i gotta get a new book as well so i'm on day 30 guys i'm finishing my 30 day yoga challenge with cassandra it is our day to celebrate. I will still continue to do it, but I won't be filming and upload this onto YouTube, guys. Take care. Let's go and get it done. ...of the morning yoga movement. This is day 30 of this morning yoga challenge. If you're just joining in with me right now, you can click the link down below in the description box to get all of the information and you can start this challenge on your own time, which I hope you will do. You can also watch the day zero video to get even more information and learn what this morning yoga movement is all about. If you've been doing this with me for 30 days, I am just super excited and super proud of you. I hope you're really proud of yourself and hopefully you have this now in a nice routine where you feel empowered to practice every single morning. So in this 10 minute practice, we are going to need one block and we're gonna lower all the way down on our backs. Just keep the block somewhere close by. We don't need it right away for this first pose. Just start with your knees in towards one another and your feet out a little wider. Maybe resting your hands on your belly. Shrug your shoulders down and away from your ears. So every day we've been using a different affirmation to really set the tone for our practice and also for the day ahead. And this is our last one. So as you breathe here, internally repeat, I am grounded and stable. I am grounded and stable. And bring your feet in a little bit closer. We'll take our reclined pigeon pose stretch. Cross your right ankle over the top of your knee and you can reach through with your arms, pulling that knee in a little closer. Relax, head and shoulders on the floor, no tension here. I am grounded and stable. And release the hold of that knee. Let your foot come down to the floor. And now you're going to extend your right leg straight up towards the sky and go ahead and point your toes. Roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. One-legged bridge pose. Push into your left foot to so squeeze your glutes and lift the hips up as high as they can go. Keep pointing through that right foot. Reach and lift up a little bit higher and slowly release down, drop both knees in towards your belly. And we'll go to the other side, reclined pigeon pose, stretch, go over your right knee, and you can pull in. And you might keep your left foot flexed, just to help protect your knee here. And getting into our hamstrings, we're setting up for that one-legged bridge. Shrug your shoulders down and away from your ears. Push into your right foot, squeeze into your glutes, and lift on up. See if you can reach up a little bit taller. One more full deep breath and very slowly lower down both feet on the floor grab a hold of your block supported bridge place it underneath you on the lowest level and keep holding on to the block with your hands as you extend your legs up towards the sky and you can keep a little bit of a bend in your knees here all we're going to do is roll the shoulders back try to keep the belly engaged and as you exhale you're going to lower the legs maybe just about halfway 
inhale to lift back up. So engaging our core here, exhale, lower down, inhale, lift back up, three more. So you really don't need to let the legs go all the way down. If you feel like your lower back is lifting up, that means you're going too far. And you wanna be able to breathe slow and steady. Let's take the last one here, exhale. And inhale, bend into your knees, lift the hips up and let's release. Coming all the way up, tabletop pose on hands and knees. And just a few rounds of cat and cow to warm up the spine. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale, round and contract. Twice more here, inhale and exhale. Inhale, drop, and exhale, curl. And we're coming to down dog. Make sure you have your block somewhere close by at the top of the mat so it's there if you need it. And then go ahead and tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back. And paddle the feet, make any movements and adjustments here that feel good. And we're gonna come to our plank pose, holding here. So just holding for a few breaths, lift the back of your head up and create even more space between the top of your head and your heels. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Push into your fingertips and knuckles. Draw your navel in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's reach the right leg up towards the sky. Bend your right knee, open up your hip. Straighten and square that right leg. Exhale, tap your knee to your nose, come forward into plank pose. Inhale, three-legged dog, twice more, same thing. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, stretch it back. Last one. Squeeze, look past your hands and step it through. We're coming to warrior one. Spin your back heel down so it's about a 45 degree angle before you lift on up. So bending generously into that front knee, drawing the navel in. And we're just going to bring our hands to our hips, straighten the right leg and bring your right foot in a couple inches. Square off your pelvis so everything is facing forward. As you inhale, lift and lengthen. On the exhale, tilt forward and lower down. You might keep your hands here or you can always grab a hold of your block if the floor is a little too far away or you can bring your hands down towards the mat. So deep stretch in this pyramid pose. Start to bend into your front knee and bring your hands out in front of you. We're coming to standing splits, so you're welcome to do this with the help of your block or you can just keep your fingertips down to the floor. As you inhale, lift that left leg up as high as it'll go. And on the exhale, bend both knees, make a tiny little ball at the top of the mat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, squeeze it in. Last one here, inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze, chair pose, big toes together, heels apart. Reach up with your arms. Just here for one breath. I'm grounded and stable. Exhale, fold it down. Halfway lift, flat back. Plant your palms, step the feet back and lower. Cobra or upward facing dog. We meet downward facing dog. From this down dog, let's reach our left leg up to the sky. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Straighten that left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, come forward to plank. Inhale, stretch it back. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, reach it up. Last one and hold so you can step forward. Warrior one, press your back heel down. Arms rise. And from this warrior one, bring your hands to your hips, straighten your front leg, narrow your stance a little bit. Inhale to lengthen and let's fold down. Pyramid pose, try to keep your hips facing forward, maybe grab for your block or let your hands come down.
Let's bend into that front knee, standing splits. Bring your hands out in front of you or maybe onto that block if the floor feels too far away. Inhale up, exhale, bend the knees. Tiny little ball, one-legged squat. Inhale, push and extend. Exhale, squeeze, come down. Last one, inhale up. Exhale down, chair pose, big toes together. This is just a transition. Take an inhale and chair. Exhale, fold and release. Halfway lift, flat back. Plant your palms, step it back, and lower chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward dog. And from this down dog, let's bring our knees to the floor. Maybe keep your block somewhere close by. We're gonna come into a passive forward fold. Legs go out in front of you. And I like to make this one passive, especially in the morning. So just letting yourself naturally round. You can let gravity do the work for you here. We're gonna take a good five or so breaths. Or if you have your block somewhere close by, this can be a nice way to also support your head and support your neck. So slowing down our breath, slowing down our heart rate. Try to relax your arms even more. And let's push, slowly come out. And you can move your block to the side. Let's take a laying spinal twist before we close our practice together. So lay all the way down. You can open up your arms in the shape of a T. Hips can go to the right. Both knees drop over to the left. Try to keep your right shoulder anchored on the mat. Grounded and stable. Let's float the knees back up and through to center. Shift your hips over to the left. Both knees drop down to the right. Press down into your left shoulder blade. really long through your arms, through your toes, and we'll roll to one side, coming up to take a seat, closing our practice together, joining hands at the heart, and really feeling in, noticing how you feel now, as opposed to when you first stepped onto your mat. And if you've been practicing with me for 30 days, maybe reflecting back how you feel now as opposed to how you felt a month ago. Showing yourself gratitude, and recognizing all of the efforts that you've put in, your consistency, your persistence. I am grounded and stable. Let's close with a breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Inhale. Namaste. Bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you, Cassandra, for my 30-day yoga challenge. I have been doing yoga before this. I, I followed you um, through the 10 minutes um, morning stretch for a while now, and I noticed that you did do the you, do, you are doing the 30 day yoga challenge and I thought I'd get on board with that. I have been doing yoga for a long time thanks to you. Not a long time, I'm a newbie for a few months now. I really appreciate your efforts and your channel providing some free yoga workout sessions for me and everybody around the globe. Really appreciate it. Thank you Cassandra, you are amazing.